everybody, welcome back to another video in Not Gaming. Well, today I am on Star Trek and I am using a. a Dikaira class, I can't remember the exact name of it, let me pull it up and find it out. Uh, tier 1, is it? No, tier 2, tier 2. Nope, tier 3. Come on, it's gonna be one tier. The Thunder Clash Child. Uh, Thunder Child Heavy Escort class. Um, it, mine is just called the USS Magellan. I am building it up and working it, um, weapons on it because it'll do quite well in battle once built up fully. Um, nice little ship to have. It has the point defense system which is an ability that comes with the ship and if you've got what I've got an anti-proton sweep which is where you put the entire set of Jim, the Jim Harder space set together which is why I've done to make it like it is it's a nice good ship it's only worth I was just on it a minute ago and I forgot how much it's worth it is worth roughly about a thousand zen uh, or it was free when they were doing like giveaways so if anybody's missed it they may do it again on another giveaway or you may have to buy it from the zen store which you can save up for a dilithium or you can go and or you can spend money on it and get your own I prefer just to use the yeah, dilithium because it's in game and it's cheaper it may take a lot longer to get but it's worth it I think we should send this out into battle and test it. No, I don't want to see my abnormality. I want to go. Don't want to see that either. This is what I want. Uh, what do I get? Oh, this is the thingy. Crystalline energy. I think I'm going to be destroyed straight away. But who cares? I'm going anyway. Um. Later on, or not later on, like in today or tomorrow, basically, um, they're putting, they're bringing out the uh, new some new thing. I don't know if it's a set of missions or whether it's actually a new uh, thing because temporal something. Uh, didn't really, I haven't read up about it yet, so I'm not sure about it, and also. They're bringing it. The summer event's going to have a nice escort. Um, I've seen a picture of it. I don't actually know its stats or anything yet. Uh, it'll be worth getting, I think. Hopefully, I can get a good version. Or well, not a good version, but get built up quite good and have it like this. Actually, what does this defense console do? Increases my damage. Sweet, that would be useful for this anyway. Are they cannons here? Yeah, the cannons on the front firing. Yeah, I've added some anti-proton to this. Um, most of my ships do run with anti-proton. I did ask for a tactical team. Come on, come on, turn around. It's very slow. What's that give me? I don't know. Something to the shields anyway. I want to turn my threat uh, my threat gen on to make me more of a target. You're probably thinking why would I want to make myself more of a target? Well it helps out the team quite a bit if they're more attacking me. This ship's probably not even built to the task, I don't know yet. This is the first time using this ship in battle. Um you can use whatever weapons you want on it. Um, I've got two dual beams at the front, single beams at the back, and a transphasic torpedo at the front as well. It is only a 3x2 weapon system anyway. Um, not as good as the higher up ones, which are actually quite nice. Um, I'm hoping to save up for the Oh, the Endorian Science Vessel. Um, I'm not sure how the Kamari is it? Can't remember exactly, but I'm hoping to get that soon and 
have five forward and three aft, or is it two aft? I can't remember. I think it's two aft. I'll have to have a look after. Hopefully, get it. Um, le le hopefully, level it up quite a decent level. Um, get its mastery up definitely. That'd be useful to. Why have I just got fireworks in space in the first place? Never understood the concept of that, but hey, it's worth having, so I'm just going to use them. They don't actually have any effect, it's more of a display than anything, and pretty much useless. Uh, don't blow me up, please, this is where I'm going to get destroyed now by an entity. I need to bring my shields up to maximum strength if possible. Harden the hole, making it virtually harder to destroy by polarizing it. It's still absorbing. I need all my shield abilities on. That should be enough to hold out against the blast. Maybe not that. It just destroys right through my ship's shields. And some people, like, there's only three people on our team that survive that. Or is it two now? About two now. So it's quite a powerful blast, which means I need to increase power to my shields and also get better shielding with better consoles to help me improve my shield rating. It's better to go for the regeneration rate than it is to go to capacity because oh, it depends on what you're fighting as really. Um, mine's just more of a... I don't know, I have thought of a thing for the ship yet. Well, I don't know whether I want a DPS tank or anything at the moment. But when I get to that I'll find something for it. And the crystal entity has been defeated. Oh, we got bonus marks on all of it. Well, I will go for the daily fleet marks if nobody minds. And they've got a shard as well. Lucky. Transphasic torpedoes. They are proven useful against the bulk, but obviously nothing, not much against the Tholians. Yeah, it's a shame that is. I need to release myself from tractor beam. How do I do that? I don't know anything. Rubbish. Don't blow me up, don't blow me up, please. Get out of here before I get blown up. Luckily, I survived the blast. Because I just got out the radius of the blast field. Um, uh, Okay, let's see how much the ships I want is. It's a tier 5, the Enduring Kamari vessel. I don't want the park. Is it. Uh, yeah, I've got the Kamari class. I will have to pay 2500 for it. It's got 5 forward and 2 aft weaponry. Otherwise, it would be a. Otherwise, it would be a 4x3 if there was no fifth one because the fifth one is just uh, taken off from the third to make it a fifth at the front. A powerful ship, it's got a phase disp dispersal array and 15 plus on weapon subsystems and if I'm correct, if I go to the Dilithium store, you should be able to get some... See, so yeah, you can get Andorian beams, weapons, torpedoes and they are useful on other ships if they can hold them. However, the spiral wave disruptors are a nice their weapon to have as well, but however you need a Cardassian warship or some sort of Cardassian ship to get it. EV suits, eh, well, they, you can get better ones, or you can just use them from the Dilithium store, quite expensive some of them. You get a cheap one for 96 Dilithium, not really worth getting there unless you really need it. Hanger pets, well, they all seem to be roughly the same, um, same as what you get anyway. I don't remember getting the timeline stabilizer, what is it? 
that I probably did. I don't know what ship it came from, but yeah. This um, reclaim is where you just get everything you need to reclaim that you've used or if you want to use again. However, you can't normally equip more than one at a time anyway per character. Uh, Intel modules and command modules you can use to upgrade your kits because they are universal, so they are nice to have. Um, hopefully, what well, I'm looking forward to getting, which would be nice. Uh, I've got the Intrepid pack, quite nice actually, nice uh, interior. I want to get the interior of this, the USS Enterprise, uh, the very first one, I believe. The Constitution class. Nice ship, actually. I like I prefer its bridge, but the bridge you have to get separately, or you can get the full pack, which is 2000. And the bridge for this, you, don't, you can get it separately, actually. No, you can't, which means if you want the bridge, you've got to go to the discount packs to get it for 2000 and you get all the uniforms such as the TAS dress uniform, the TAS medical uniform, the TAS command tunic. I think I've got most of them anyway. The shuttlecraft, the, the F class shuttlecraft and you also get the bridge as well which is actually quite nice. It's the inside like if it was on the uh, Captain Kirk's on the original series which is actually quite nice to be honest as well. Skimitars, I don't like the tier 6 looking ones. Don't like the tier 6 looking at them either. I prefer the tier 5 of them because they look more like skimitars and more deadly than the others. Also, um, the Odysseys look better on that one as well. Um, I've got that. Um, I think that came out in one of the um, things a while ago. The Delta Operations, it doesn't give you all of the ships, but it gives you some, most of them. Quite nice. Deep Space Nine pack gives you all of them. Type 10, Shuttlecraft. I thought they'd use the runabout that they use in Deep Space Nine, but not, obviously not. The Command Cruisers, ooh, nice. These are pretty old, but I like them. They do use quite damage if they've got all the full set. You've got Federation, you've got more Feds. No, Romulan, Klingon, Fed again, Klingon, and Romulan. Sweet. Don't think there's any discounts on currently. I swear that was bigger, but obviously not. Um, uniforms. I think they give you most of them anyway. <laughs> well, that's normally why I just wait for them to give them eight on the um, free giveaways. A class uh, Type 8 shuttlecraft, and you'd have that as a companion. It's not really worth getting. These you can get anyway, because if you've been on to get them. Future Fly is nice to get as well. Uh, Legacy unlocks now. I don't think there is anything else that they've added new anyway. I haven't been on uh, Triple, so I can't say what's new officially. Um, thanks for watching. I hope everybody enjoyed. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Um, and live long and prosper.